You okay? I just want to get it over and done with. That's right. Well, that's what we're going to do. Get it over and done with. It looks like Belinda has a lipoma here. I just hope that it's not connected to deeper structures underneath. I hope there's, it's not holding on to her and that I could just pop this out nice and easy. I'm just going to kind of um, loosen it up with my finger. You're not bothering me here, honey. Good. We got it. It wanted to come out. It was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lipoma jackpot. When you get the lipoma out in one piece, it's so exhilarating, it's so exciting, it makes you feel good. This is why I love to remove lipomas. What did you call this thing here? Uh, this is my baby. Called it your baby. Well, I'll let you hold your baby after it in a little bit. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's been born. <laughs> Okay, just be careful. Even though I think it's a lipoma, it might be a cyst. So just, I'm gonna block myself. I was mistaken. Oh, it's a cyst. Get me a kidney basin, please. You never know when you cut into a bump what is exactly going to be in there. This is a cyst and it's about to blow. Oatmeal. Yours is like oatmeal. It looks exactly like oatmeal. It does. Just need some brown sugar or something. I don't know. <laughs> some cinnamon. Some cinnamon. <laughs> the reason that I thought it was a lipoma was because I could not imagine a cyst being that big and being right there on his shoulder. I thought for sure if that was a cyst, he would have popped it by then. All right, let's get this off. Oh, sorry. That was you. Excuse you. It's called a cyst poot. <laughs> that don't sound good. <laughs> a cyst poot is sometimes when you remove contents from the skin and the skin is a little bit floppy, it can make noises. And so, yes, sometimes you get cyst poots. My name is Diane. I am 63 years old. I have bumps on my skin, thousands of them all over. Neurofibromatosis is a disorder that you're born with because it's due to a genetic mutation and it just causes her body to create tumors around nerve cells. Right here uh -huh, is that a That one's kind of sticking yeah. out more. Yeah. yeah, it's more like a little collection of them yeah. right there. The goal here is to try to really remove whether shave excision or trying to use a laser to smoothen out these bumps on her. This is not gonna be easy. So what I'm gonna do is use these special scissors that are serrated. They have a little bit of a serrations, like a knife that would have serrations yeah. in them. So they grip, they grip you more. It was really surprising just how much that hurt. In fact, even more than I expected. I've removed a lot of Diane's neurofibromas, uh, and I'm trying to concentrate on the ones that really irritate her the most, the ones that are, she's reminded of the most. I do worry that the things that I do for Diane aren't going to help her as much as I wish I could, because I can't cure this. I can't make this go away. And my goal here is just to at least make her life uh, more comfortable. OK, your chin now. Okay. We'll take off a little of that, but then we'll laser at the end. OK. The way this laser works is by essentially burning a very, very thin layer of the skin. And also to kind of sand down the surface so that we don't have as much bumpiness. We're trying to even it out like we do with fine sandpaper. OK, good. All right, good. We're going to put some antibiotic ointment on you. And you want to keep it nice and moist and let it all kind of pebble off or peel off. It's going to look yeah. good. She's done a lot for me today. Wow, that's a lot. I'm so happy. I'm working on Melissa's lipoma. And with my first incision, it actually made me happy. It's like it, it pushes its way out. You just make one little cut with your scalpel blade, and it's like it's it's coming out at you. I just gotta slowly ease it. Are you okay? 
Yeah. What's up? Oh, it hurts a little bit. When you're numbed locally, we are stopping the pain fibers from firing and going to your brain and telling you that you're experiencing pain. I know I'm pulling on you down deep, but as long as it's not sharp, it should be okay. It's coming. It's like having a baby. <laughs> All right, about, I think it's about half, maybe? Yours is a workout, girl. <laughs> And you wouldn't think there was more. So now it's just like the last little tendrils, and if I don't try to get it all, I'm afraid it'll come back, and we don't want to do this again, right? No. Oh. OK, OK. OK, we're getting it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You got it. We got it all. All right. It looks good. It does. Girl, I can see your whole head. I need a pillow right here. If Dr. Lee's able to remove my boob, I will be able to go to the beach more and not have to scold my friends when they won't look me in the eyes because my boob is hanging out. Hi. Hello, Dr. Lee. How are you? My goodness, you're so pretty. It's so oh, nice to meet nice you. Oh, nice to meet you, too. I've been joking that I've come for my boob job. Oh, you OK. You do, <laughs> I don't do boob jobs, so let's see what's going it's on here. It's a reverse here. boob job. Well, where is this area? Oh, oh, I see. A C, exactly. Uh, okay. It's a we C right cup. <laughs> <laughs> I do make the joke that lipomas look like boobs, but this one looks like a boob. I mean, it feels like a lipoma. It's very mobile. It moves around well. But I mean, I never really know until I go in and remove it. I have to be really careful when I'm doing this surgery on John. So I'm just going to put some numbing here. It's going to be a little tight. There's not that far of a distance to get to his internal organ. You cut too deep and you could hit his intestine, you could hit his kidney, you could hit anything under there. I'm scared. Make sure I'm never hurting you, okay? Yeah. Good, you're doing Actually, awesome. We got a lipoma here for sure. I'm glad I can't see it. I'm just gonna try to get rid of some of the, like, the, the fibrous connections that's like stuck to you here. I'm just going to release it a little bit with my fingers moving it around, see if I can't squeeze it out even. <sighs> You're doing awesome. You can see there's little um, connections and fibrous bands, so I'm just trying to break them up here. Your boob is out. Yay! It is out. If you find my car keys in there, let me know. 